Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here, hey my name is Charlotte and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I turned my Alex drawers by Ikea from white to black. Now I've had these drawers for two years and you can only get them in either white or navy blue which I find is like a very very limited color choice especially for Ikea. Initially I had them here in our office which worked well because we have white desks in here but we moved them to our bedroom because they do store all of my makeup in them which is kind of like the typical use for them I feel like. So they're in our bedroom and in our bedroom we have only got dark furniture so they were always a bit of an eyesore. They always like just kind of stuck out and kind of like didn't look good like they didn't feel like they fit in there. So spot Spontaneously, two days ago, I was like, let's paint them black. Today, I'm going to be talking about the steps that I took to turn them from white to black. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first step, and I think this is such self-explanatory, but I thought I'd tell you guys anyway, is I emptied the drawers. Now, as I said beforehand, I have all my makeup in here. I have like all my hair products, my beauty products, and I did actually do a whole decluttering series on my channel at the beginning of the year, which I'll leave the playlist to that down below in case you guys are interested. I definitely have gotten rid of a lot of makeup because I'm turning from like makeup obsessed to kind of like more makeup minimalist. And I am thinking about doing an updated makeup routine in the next coming videos so subscribe and put on notifications if you guys want to see that video so emptying everything out was the first step and I put everything into like cardboard boxes I thought I'd just make it really really easy the second step is literally just a little bit of a joke for this video but it is look ridiculous But on a serious note, please do protect yourselves when you're doing like stuff like this. So I put on a face mask. This is not necessary, but we did have one lying around. So I was like, I'll just use that. And then I also put on some glasses. I just used my sunglasses to protect my eyes. <laughs> so the first actual step in changing up your Alex drawers is to sand down the drawers. Now the drawers basically come up with like this glossy finish and you can't paint on that very easily, like the paint won't grip on it. So we decided to sand down the Alex drawers and my father-in-law actually has an electric sander, which we then used and basically, yeah, just sanded down everything. This took quite a while actually, because that glossy finish really is quite Thick, like I didn't think it was gonna be. We didn't sand down all the way to the plywood because we didn't want the plywood to show through. So we basically just tried to sand down as much of that glossy overlay as possible, but kind of left quite a lot of white paint. Then we painted the Alex drawers. Basically, we used a black paint that was kind of like a glossy finish and we painted it three times. That's basically step four and step five was paint, 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 paint. We, yeah, put three layers on just because we really wanted it to have like a really dark black color and like have none of that white shining through. We went over the Alex drawers once and then let that dry, it dried pretty quickly because it was a really sunny day. Then we went over it with the second time and then we let that dry for about an hour and a half, like both layers, and then we went over it a third time. Then after all of that, we put on our top coat. So the top coat really just does kind of make it look more glossy. Not exactly my favorite, but it was the only thing that was lying around, so we used that. The reason why we use the top coat is so that the paint is protected more so that if it gets like any dints in it or like get, gets hit or even like the transfer back to our home we just wanted to make sure that the Alex drawers were really protected and just kind of like safe and looked after <laughs> that the paint wouldn't come off straight away like all of our work just for nothing the seventh step is to put everything back again like these are just absolutely obvious steps but I thought I'd put them in nonetheless because I did have some fun footage to show you guys so I put everything back and to be honest we had a wasp in our flat when we came home and I was a bit ah, freaked out about it <laughs> I'm not gonna lie so yeah so we, we so I put everything back in place and it looked so good like I was so pleased just with the entire look of it it just looks like they were supposed to be in that room it looks so good just looks so snazzy, especially like with the dark wood of our bed and our wardrobe and also like the black leather of our bed. 
an apartment tour will be coming at some point in the future, don't fret. And then the last thing that I did was also refill it. Now I did not use the dividers that I previously had in the Alex drawers and the reason for that is that I wasn't sure how I wanted to like divide it and honestly I was so tired that I was just kind of like let's just put everything in I'm like so over it so I put everything back in and I will be definitely sorting through it in the future but anyway that's how we turned our Alex drawers from white to black I hope you guys enjoyed this little video I don't know I love DIY videos I have been so obsessed with it's me Andy's renovation series here on YouTube and also Megan Batoon. I mean, I love Megan Batoon. I can watch her videos over and over and over again, especially like her renovation kind of videos. I love them so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do so. The button is down below. Just go ahead and tap it. You're part of the Cavalier family. Also, don't forget to ring that bell because I'm uploading every three days at the moment. I hope you guys are staying happy and healthy and safe. And I'll I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!